Taking an honest look at your own health isn't always easy, but starting that conversation could save your life. That's why 20 women have agreed to put their hearts on the line and show us why learning about heart disease is so important. Knowledge is power. Knowledge of your own health can give you the power to make changes. It's that idea behind North Florida Regional Medical Center's heart disease risk assessment. Should I find something that needs to be improved and I have the chance to improve it. 20 women have agreed to publicly share their test results with TV20 as they learn about their individual risks for heart disease. It's a problem for so many because so few even know they're at risk. There's a large percentage of people that come in with their first heart attack. Um, or even die from it without having preceding symptoms, uh, which is very scary. Without many symptoms, it's vital to know if you have one of several risk factors. Smoking and drinking, diabetes, poor diet, and lack of exercise can all increase your risk. If you identify um, someone with uh, high cholesterol, or high blood pressure, or high blood sugar and diabetes, um, or your risk factors, uh, you reduce the, the chance uh, of having that heart attack dramatically um, if we act upon it. So to act on it, these women will have a comprehensive risk assessment. They come from all walks of life with different backgrounds and different degrees of fitness. I am very health conscious. My father and my grandfather had heart disease. I've been a runner for many years and I'm a kayaker. I'm a former smoker. And all are anxious to see what these tests could reveal. I'm a little nervous about it. I'm hoping they'll be okay, <laughs> but I don't really know. But ultimately, they all express the same eagerness to know where they stand. So hoping to just learn a little bit more, but I think we'll have good results. I want to take care of myself. I want to be around for a while. And you won't want to miss these women's results. What we found might surprise you. To see our follow-up, you'll have to tune in for Your Health next Thursday in 530 Live when we bring you part two of 20 Hearts on 20. Emily Burris, TV 20 News.